Yo guys, thank you for joining. So before we jump into my computer and show you the actual case study, uh, a little, I want to talk a little bit about how I do things differently, okay? So first, let me, let me tell you where I come from, everything. So I've been clean pretty much my whole life, okay? When I was 14 years old, I was helping my mom clean offices. I would do move out units, uh, some offices. Sometimes I would strip and wax floors as a helper. Uh, throughout, uh, in high school, I cleaned about four to five offices five days a week for myself. And in college, I was a subcontractor. Okay, and this is what, when my life changed. Because previously, all the cleaning uh, companies I worked for, the owner was always stressed out, always stressed out, always working seven days a week. And they would always, always be complaining about making a good profit, okay? And then in college, I came across this guy who, was, who found contracts, and then he would sub them out to contractors. Okay, and that's how I learned that I don't know why he was getting contracts every month, every month, and he was making so much money. Like he closed his day here, that was five days a week, three different locations. He was charging at least twenty five hundred per day here times three. That's seventy five hundred dollars a month. Okay, and then he paid me seventeen hundred. You know what that means? He was making over seven hundred a month per contract a month okay and I asked myself why is all the cleaning company owners struggling okay they're struggling to make money they're always working in the business so I reverse engineered what he was doing okay while most people find it so hard to find contracts they're always hustling hustling and they're stressed over getting the job done this guy all he did go to the meeting close the contract show the contract to a few contractors so if the main contractor didn't work out he would just give the contract to the other one and he would just inspect answer client emails and boom every month he was making money a lot of money actually he had over 50 subcontractors okay but then one day uh, the facility I was cleaning uh, they ran off the roll you know like the paper towel uh, they ran out early because if it's half half there we don't have to change it because we don't want to waste half of it but i guess someone in the facility used all of it so then half the day the the roll was empty okay so that got a complaint to me they said the cleaner's not changing the toilet uh the rolls the paper towels and boom just like that he fired me no warning nothing okay i didn't do anything bad i did a good job but that's when I struggled for eight months. For eight months, I couldn't find contracts, nothing. But throughout those eight months, I learned digital marketing. Uh, I read so many books, okay? Psychology selling, okay? How to be better than everyone else. How to brand yourself out, okay? While, while everyone else is relying on charging the least to win the contract, that's the wrong way. After building traction, Okay, the first year, I took my best 25K a month, okay? I'm making about 35 to 40% profit, uh, but guess what? I'm not cleaning. I'm not, you know, scrubbing toilets. Uh, I'm able to make money for work. I don't do, okay? Some people might get mad at me and hate me because I'm doing this the easy way. Because the hard way is just spending months or weeks selling over the phone and then you get a contract, okay? and then you have to like paste the contract and I'm able to use the easy way the easy way of just getting the, the, the lead which is a request for quote okay I can set up the meeting go to the meeting follow up close the contract uh, pick up the entry keys and our alarm code okay and do a walkthrough and then I just show the contract to a contractor okay who also owned their own cleaning company and they're more than happy to take the contract okay there's all contractors here that own their own cleaning company, but they don't have enough cleaning contracts. So they're looking to fill their schedule with more contracts, okay? Some people might think, oh, you're making profit of someone else for work that you didn't do. That's wrong, okay? I provide quality workmanship, quality control, and quick responsive customer service. When the client 
is looking for a new cleaning provider, okay? And they type on Google. I appear in front of them, okay? And I appear as the best one in my city because I'm able to communicate that online, okay? You might be the best cleaning provider, but if you don't know how to communicate that to the client in person and online digitally, then they'll go with someone who they trust. And I'm able to charge more money than everyone else because I branded, my, I branded myself out, okay? So I'm paying the subcontractors the money they would charge themselves, okay? But I charge more, so I'm able to make profit off them, okay? And they don't require babysitting because they want to keep the contract and they care about the contract as much as I do, okay? And if they don't do a good job, I just give the contract to someone else. So while everyone pretty much are stressed out, always babysitting their business, their cleaners, I was able to get to this level very fast, very fast. Within two years, I had more monthly revenue than guys have been doing this for 20 years, okay? So now I wanna show you how to do it. Okay guys, so this little case study I'm gonna show you, I used to stress myself out so much and barely made a profit. And now all the leads come to me and I'm making a lot of money just barely working, okay? So let me show you this little case study and how to do things differently. So first, we collect leads and the leads are pretty much when someone goes to your website and they request a quote. For example, you, you come in the website, tells you exactly uh, you know who we are what we do and here they can request a free quote professional staff so then this adds social proof okay because when when a client when an office owner needs cleaning services and they get five different quotes from five different cleaning companies they're gonna do their research they're gonna google your company name and your competitors and if you're not better online than your competitor they're gonna go with them Okay, so everything has to be on point. We gotta gain uh, the client's trust online, having pictures of your staff with uniforms. Very important because that tells the client, look, our staff are insured, bonded, and uniformed. And here, submission box, this is how we collect leads, okay? So here we have reviews, they enter a message, email, and this is just you know, designed for your needs so we can do any kind of job five days a week at nighttime, we'll get it done. Why us? You know, just reasons why they should go with you instead of the competition. Facilities you serve, okay? A clinic owner, someone that owns a dental clinic, reaches out to you. They're like, oh, I need cleaning services for my clinic. And they see on your website that you already do clinics. They're gonna think that you're a person of authority. They're gonna think that you already do this, you have lots of experience, and you've been doing this for a while, just simple. Here testimonials about you, nothing's too dirty, before and after pictures. When we are running ads such as uh, Google ads, so when some types in your city, cleaning services, Seattle, Toronto, whatever city, this is Google AdWords. If someone in your city types cleaning services and you don't appear in front of them, your competition will appear and your competition will take that client from you. Okay, so it's very important to be in front of the client when they're looking for us. So that's digital marketing. You can also use Bing, you can use uh, Yelp. And the thing about digital marketing, once you set it up, you don't have to babysit it. It runs on the background. This is the beauty about this. And having a strong online presence. Okay, so online presence, pretty much when someone types cleaning services Seattle, this is having a strong online presence being in front of the client when they're searching for you or being top 10 uh, many different ways Yelp, Yelp pages, uh, Google My Business, Bang My Places that's organic traffic okay let me show you right here so for the first quarter of 2020 it's a little lower than usual because the whole coronavirus but you can see just my organic Google My Business 1600 people have seen my, my page that led to 57 visits to my website, directions, calls. So imagine, one person from here could be a $2,000 a month contract. Never know. That digital marketing 
having a strong online presence, that's very automated. Okay, once you get it done, you don't have to babysit it. So every month, people are coming to our website and requesting for a quote. And that quote gets sent directly to our email. And all we do is set up a meeting. I'm able to close 30 to 40% of my meetings, while most people only close 10 to, 10 to 20. Most people, they use price. Okay, they think, oh, I'll charge the least and I'll win the contract. When the client, they're not looking for the cheapest one. Okay, some of them, some of them might, but what a client wants is someone they can trust, the best option with competitive rates. I show up in a suit, I tell them all the problems we're gonna solve for them. I offer them way more stuff than everyone else. We'll steam clean the carpets every six months, we'll wash the windows, strip and wax your floors. That's all in the original price of regular cleaning. We tell them we have all of our staff are uniformed, we offer quick responsive customer service, no contract commitments, and we use a little scarcity tactics. It's pretty much psychology selling. And then we follow up, we close the contract, and sales, that's optional, okay? This is all automated. I don't spend any time going on the phone, sending cold emails. Every week, people are requesting for a quote on my website. I only set up a meetings with people I wanna work with because not every client is a good client. Let's say you close um, 15 to 30 contracts every year. Let's just say you close 1.4 contracts a month. This is real numbers, okay? This, I literally took my current clients like for like the first year, like my half, and here, here are the results, okay? And see, there's more clients, 350 a month. My biggest client, actually I didn't put it here, but my biggest client, 7,000 a month. Um, this is the biggest client here, but when, you, when you're closing about 1.4 contracts a month, okay? And this is just, we're assuming the lowest. Let's say 25,000 a month added from 17 contracts. Like, so last year, this is not all for my cleaning. I have a little side projects, but let's say I spent 7,000 for the last year. This is a little proof, okay? Showing you like, for example, the keywords I use, cleaning services, janitorial services, cleaner, cleaning company, okay? You can see here only for cleaning services. Actually, I don't know if you can see, but right here. I only I spent twelve hundred dollars on just this keyword, okay, guys. So this is real. My profit right now is about forty percent uh, because I use this tactic. I call this pretty much when you have so many contracts, you can kind of have subcontract, like you can sub your contracts out in a package, okay. So instead of having one subcontractor do this one, one do this one why don't you sub all the contracts for that specific area and make it a package so the contractor is making more money but you're able to make more uh, profit percentage from those contracts okay so that's why i make more profit uh, but let's assume the worst 35 percent profit okay so the first year this is how i was able to pretty much semi-retire in a way uh, because I would have contracts here, for example, you know, 550, 550 a month. I would sub that out for 250. Two, uh, 415 a month. I would sub that out for anywhere from 200, maybe 180. Um, you know, 1450 a month. I would sub that out for 800, something like that. Uh, 550 a month, sub it out for 350 to 250, anywhere around that. Sub this out sub this out for maybe 2000 and i want to be before someone in the comment goes and hates i'm paying more money to my subcontractors than they would charge themselves and i want to be honest there's going to be contracts where you make less profit 20 to 50 there's contracts i'm making 60 percent there's contracts i'm making 20 percent so there's a lot of variables okay so when you have great workmanship quality and a great customer service, quick responsive customer service, you're able to gain the client's loyalty. And when you gain the client's loyalty, they 
they stay with you for a long time, many years. And when the client's very happy with you, they provide referrals over time. A lot of people rely on referrals. It's not a good way to grow, but it can definitely add up over time, okay? And not all clients are good clients, okay? There are some clients I canceled on because they were so cheap and so stressful that it's not worth it, okay? And this is the beauty about having lots of contracts is that if you don't like a client, you don't have to work with them because you have, you know, 20, 30, 50 other clients that will back you up and pay the bills for you, okay? So if you want to work with someone, this gives you the option to say, hey, we don't want to work with you anymore. You're not worth it, okay? Uh, but always stay professional. And the beauty about this, it's I keep saying this over time, but what, once you find a contract, you have it and it's yours. Because cleaning, everyone needs cleaning. If clean doesn't get done, it's gonna get dirty. So they have your services for many years, okay? And when they're happy with you, they'll stick with you. You're gaining the client's loyalty, okay? So when you have a good service and you keep bringing contracts every month, you keep building a portfolio, okay guys? So this is what happens when you keep the client and you keep bringing clients in, okay? You start out small, okay? You have to create your website, have everything on point, okay? But once that's done, and then you're using your website as a selling machine, okay? And you've been doing this for a while, so everything's just copy and paste, copy and paste, okay? The process, every client you get, you go to a meeting, close it, show it up, show it to the subcontractor, and boom, you're making money on autopilot. Not on autopilot, you gotta babysit sometimes, everything, but this is why the rich keep getting richer. Math doesn't lie, okay? First year, I was able to get 25K worth of contracts a month. My second year, I did some like the same thing, okay? So now I'm sitting a little over uh, 50K a month, okay some of my contracts due to the uh, coronavirus they paused uh, some restaurants uh, dental clinic they paused but as soon as the virus is done they're going back to business okay but just with the virus this is something I'm very thankful is that a lot of cleaning companies they once the virus hit and their contract shut down their back was against the wall. They couldn't pay bills, okay? But I was secure because I had so many contracts that some of my contracts paused, and but I still uh, had an income from my other contracts because I had so many. So this is, this is a way to protect yourself, okay? If you rely on everything, all your eggs from one client and they cancel on you, who's gonna pay your bills, okay? But when you have one client and 50 more, if one client cancels on you, you have 50 more to back you up, okay? And this is the beauty, this is the snowball effect, okay? Once you start building traction, once you get two contracts, three contracts, you can gain a lot more contracts very fast. They just keep adding and adding and adding. And then over the span of what? Let's see here, five years, you can be looking at over 100, 120,000 per month, okay? Very scalable, okay? And this is why I stopped doing um, residential homes. It's because, one, it's hard to scale. Let's be real. How many houses do you need to do to break, to make 20K a month? Let me tell you, it's gonna be a very stressful month. Okay, you'll be driving all over. You have to do a lot of a lot of management because when there's a lot of numbers, there, it requires more management versus just having, you know, why do 20 different houses that month to make 2,000 when one contract can make you 2,000? Stress-free, okay? Another thing to stop doing residential homes, lots of complaints, okay? A lot of times you don't know what you're walking into it's harder to collect payment from people, okay? When you're dealing with a company, 
they'll pay up no matter what because if they don't you'll take them to court and they have lots to lose okay but when you're dealing with someone that lives in the ghetto and you're cleaning their house they will just block your number and you'll never hear them again okay a lot of people try to lowball okay we all get that i've been there done that which is why I stopped doing residentials, okay? I used to clean uh, steering move-out units, uh, which is, I gained a lot of experience doing that, but I just, I ran so many headaches, which is why I stopped doing them, okay? And let's be real, if you hate cleaning in front of someone, okay? You'll come across that a lot of times in residential. The beauty about commercial cleaning is that our subcontractors, or let's say if you want to do this yourself, you can go after hours, you're there by yourself, no one's there babysitting you, inspecting you, you know, walking behind you, okay? It's good to work after hours, okay? And the thing about residential is that once you stop working, you stop earning, okay? A lot of residential clients, they want the owner to always be there. They want the clean lady to always be there cleaning, and if you hire someone else, they don't trust you anymore so they'll cancel on you okay another thing too about residential they cancel more suddenly okay they're like okay i don't like you this day so they cancel they find someone else next week and the thing about commercial you have the client's loyalty because it's all just for the client to be changing uh cleaning providers and there's a contract okay people don't like changing it's just all time consuming okay but in residential they'll be like we don't need you next week don't come back so uncertainty uh less frequent you know if a house will need cleaning seven days a week okay so less money for you but let's say if you're cleaning if you have a restaurant contract okay it takes let's say two hours a visit uh seven days a week let's say you're charging three thousand a month for that contract two hours a visit 30 days a month you sub it out for what two thousand boom you're making a thousand dollars every month okay very scalable and it's harder the thing about residentials it's hard to systemize it there's a lot of variables okay when there's a lot of variables so many different locations it's hard to systemize, okay? Like, why go to 20 different places when you can just go to one place and make more money, okay? And we all know when we do one place consistently, it becomes a lot easier over time. And this is the thing about AdWords. It's a great place to like show your ads. Um, you know, like for example, right here, some types cleaning service Toronto and boom, these are ads, okay? These companies are paying Google to show up, okay? But let me show you the biggest mistakes with them. They're spending thousands of dollars a month to show their ads because every time someone searches cleaning services on Google, okay? 80 to 90% of those people are gonna be residentials, okay? They're gonna be typing basement cleaning services, apartment cleaning services, cleaning lady, clean, cheap cleaning company, cleaning cleaning jobs, cleaning agencies, you know, for example, gutter cleaning, mold cleaning, okay? Don't, we don't wanna do that, okay? If you want to, go ahead, but I don't wanna do that, okay? Especially when this, Google's very expensive. Look at this, 750 per click okay but all these people they're spending all that money on people that you want to work with residential leads okay mold cleaning carpet cleaning we don't want to do that okay that's small fish we only want to spend money on the big fish commercial clients okay so how do we filter that we only want short ads to clients that want that we want to work with okay we don't want to work with you know this one-time basement clean that we're gonna charge a hundred bucks and we'll never see them again we want to work with clients that can provide you know $500 contracts a month 
you know, two thousand dollar contracts a month, thousand dollars, three thousand, four thousand. My biggest contract is seven thousand. Okay, so we only want to spend money on those clients. Okay, so I show you how. Okay, because I only spend one third of the price. Okay, like look at this. Look how cheap my cost per click is because I optimize my ads. Okay, while well, most people are spending all this money on residential leads. And this is something I show you. This is why I, I was the fastest growing company in my city because I optimized my ads while only spending one third of the price compared to my competition. Okay, guys, look at this. You know, having a strong online presence. Look at this, 1,600 people have seen my business for the first quarter of 2020. Okay, guys? So, and there's so much more. For example, right here, this is my LinkedIn, my other LinkedIn. I posted my company name, a little post, okay? And look at this, it, got, it reached 1,800 people. So, a lot of you guys might be asking, Rick, why are you doing this? And that's because I come across so many subcontractors that have been doing this for 10, 20 years and they still haven't hit 10k a month. They're all stressed out about managing their business, complaints, babysitting their staff, everything. And when they should be focusing on growing their business, okay? Because if, you, if you're cleaning houses, you know, seven days a week, five days a week, I'm sure you'll be making and working for yourself. I'm sure you'll be making a decent amount of money, but if you get sick, if you break a leg, if your joints start hurting, guess what? You can't make money. And this is perfect if you own a restoration company, window cleaning company, a carpet cleaning company, or even if you're a painter, because having the extra source of income doesn't hurt, okay? And this can be done within a week. Within a week, you can make a little system for yourself, for your business, okay? And then every week, you, you get leads, requests for quotations. And then you just go to the meeting, close the contract, sub it out, and every month, you get money. It's like real estate, okay? Doesn't hurt to have an extra 50K in the next three years, if let's say if you're a landscaping company or you do residential homes doesn't hurt okay and the beauty about this it's it takes very minimal babysitting because contractors they already own cleaning companies they already have like they already have the experience you don't have to babysit them okay they care about the contract as much as you do because if they don't care they won't get the contract they'll get it someone else will get it okay and the thing about this too is that Let's say if you have a bunch of contracts, you protect yourself, okay? You protect yourself from people that you wanna work with. Okay, guys? And the beauty about this, it's recurring income. Every month you're making money, okay? It's not like residentials where every month it's different. Every month it's different, okay? This is all the same, okay? Math doesn't lie, common sense doesn't lie, okay? So, book the call. I'm only doing the calls for a limited time it's either gonna be myself or my team. Okay, I'm here in my office. I don't know if you guys can see, but here a little, my office here. And why I'm doing this program, it's for, just to help you guys out, okay? Because I struggled for eight months. I couldn't find contracts, and I come across so many people that keep asking me the same questions, okay? But I can't help all of you guys. So I created this program online where I go behind the scenes, show you guys step by step how I got to this level okay guys and this allowed me the first year I was pretty much semi-retired okay the first year so I failed for eight months and then I gained traction for X like more like after those eight months I gained traction okay so the first year I was making uh, 25k revenue a month and profit was about nine to eight to nine k a month and Guess what? I woke up. I woke up anytime I wanted. I could play with my cats. I have a race car that I drive around my city. It's fun. So that's why I created this program. Okay, I get satisfaction from helping other people, from making the world a better place. 
So I see, I see this big problem of top three companies getting all the contracts in your city and then there's hundreds of other companies just starving, starving for contracts. They don't know how to do it. Or they're spending so much time on sell cold calls, cold calls that their brains gotta go off the roof, cold calling every day, okay? And I found the easy way. The easy way to do this business the right way, okay? And there's nothing shady about this. Okay, because I find the contract and I find a subcontractor who are their own independent company. Okay, so I write them off as an expense. Okay, I pay myself in dividends, which is very tax friendly. Okay, and you don't have to do a bunch of payroll papers when you have your staff. You can have your staff, I don't care. But the way I do it, I sub everything out. But the area where I have the most advantage is. I get the leads out on autopilot every week. I systemized everything. So I only work like what? Six, five, eight hours a week? And I don't clean. And this is the dream. I'm making a full-time income. Well, <laughs> a lot more, but um, without doing the work, okay? Think smarter, not harder, okay? If you do the math and use common sense, this can be very simple. Okay, so guys, I want to help you one on one. Okay, so either myself or my team will do their research on your city, your website, everything. And I want to help you one on one. Myself or my team. So I create a little program to help a lot of people out because if I if I explain everything there, everything one by one, I can only help like what five people a day, but by creating a program. I'm able to provide this experience, this knowledge, everything, step by step, showing you behind the screens. And I'm able to duplicate this and help more people than just helping people one on one, five, you know, just five people a day. Okay? But get on the call. It's free. Take advantage. People are mind blown by how much knowledge I give them or my team. Alright, guys, so 